Hello and welcome, I'm Steam Knight and welcome to my play for Shadows Over Loathing. In the last episode we did a bunch of stuff for the uh, the mob, but we also got a bit of a lore dump in our dream sequence where we sort of went through the story of the uh, the Shadow President and learnt that Dark Noel is um, like following her as like a court wizard sort of type person. Uh, we got a sickle from a signal, wait, we got a signal from a sickle, you know, the farming tool thing. It's over in Grey County somewhere, mostly nothing but farms there. But there's a store that's been open since forever. The owner's name is Jasper. He knows Murray. He'll probably help you out. Here's a map. I got Grey County placement map. Uh, in lieu of a map, Jessica has given you a placement place mat from a restaurant in Grey County. Cool. This is a diner place mat. It literally has a map of the county right on the middle of it. Oh, I'm just impressed that you found a way to give me an actual map while well, still also giving me a thing that isn't a map. Really, we don't have anything to say about the whole dream sequence. Also, we're going to a farm didn't um, uh, in that dream sequence that we learned that her family was on one of the farms. Uh, call the mob back. Oh hey, this is Benny One Tongue speaking. What happened to Don Tobron? Sore throat. You do? That's me. Okay, here's the deal. We left a bunch of stuff in your nightstand. There's some books we need cooked, some documents we need forged, and some evidence we need dis doctored. Once you're done with all that, dump them in the sewer grate outside the antique store, and the boys will handle it from there. Got it, nice talk to you, Betty. I mean it. Sure thing. Interesting, okay. Open the drawer. Cool. Okay, so that's gonna add a bunch of stuff to my to-do list. Huh. And no obvious way to sort of solve them. Interesting. Can I investigate these? Uh, you take a look at the recent bookcase acquisition. Charles just can't resist the antique bookshelf uh, man and his amazing deals. Uh, I can't believe I slept through the antique bookshelf man. All the books are in Latin. Never learned Latin myself. So who knows if it's the history of the Roman Empire we got there, or pornography. It could be both. You know, any Latin doom? Uh, only pig. Oh yeah? So what's the Latin word for pig? No, I mean pig Latin. The, words, la the Latin word for pig is pig Latin. Fascinating language. Check the books. Jesus, I have smelt. Grants a combat skill. Creso Restolento deals five stench damage. Interesting. Uh, great. <laughs> cool. Good thing I checked that. I mean, not particularly useful skill, I guess. Although I guess it's technically stronger than my Panzer missile fire upgrade it like this. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Uh, just do this. So it gets off my screen. Cool. All right. Okay. Yeah, we need to reapply my potions and food and stuff. Uh, let's see. Increase all my stats by one. That's pretty good. Unknown. Physical armor by three. Sleaze armor. Meat drops. Uh, mysticality. Magic weapon attacks. I could try eating one of these because I'm sure I could just eat something else afterwards anyway. Uh, eat the mushroom and wait half an hour or so to see what it does to you. I got swamp shroom. You've eaten a swamp shroom, mushroom unknown composition. Plus one mysticality, plus three sleeves armor, plus one max AP. I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, interesting. Hmm, yeah, sure, I'll stick with that for now. Uh, potions. I can really buff up my arm with that one. Spooky armor, metal weapon. Eh. Didn't have, like, a really good one in here. I got like the other um, other day I was playing. Was well, I really use that? Increase the maximum AP by one and damage of ma magical weapon attacks by three. That's sort of pretty good. Max HP by ten. That could also be good. Hmm. Just got on by seven. That's pretty neat. Uh, 
thing is a lot of enemies that are doing a lot of damage ain't actually damaging me with that um, you know, like physical arm like damage. I might drink this one. Give me armor and all the different like elemental type ones. Uh, turn it out to end. We drink again. Cool. And then we need to grab a. Uh, or we also pet you. There we go. <laughs> nice. And then we need to get a drink. But also check out the uh, jewelry shop as well. There you go. Oh, nice profits. Right now, do I go for getting my HP up? Or do I go for like muscle mysticality? Hmm. Let me check my what is my health without any of these buffs? Fifteen. Ooh. That's not good. I kind of need the health. Cool. Excuse me, sir. Uh, got one more store for loose as well, so we've got another chapter at least after this. Uh, ah, thought that sign on the door or something. Uh, jewelry. Hello. The proprietor nods politely. You introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Doom. Hello, I'm Dorothy Rodkin. If you want a ring or amulet or whatever old dotty rods will fix you right up, cool. What you got for sale? A bacon stone brooch. My Mr. Callity. Bulletproof choker. Physical armor. Mr. Callity and Moxie. Just Moxie. Stench armor. Two digital combat items. Heals you and all your allies for one HP every round of combat. Uh, in theory that's good, but by the time my turn comes around, they would have done so much damage, I feel like that would be obsolete at this point. Hmm. I'm liking one mysticality and one moxie. What is my accessory? Just plus one muscle. Oh, yeah, okay, yep, definitely gonna grab that. Uh, bam. And what are the ring choices? Just the regen or two combat items. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, no, I'm not switching that out. No way. Uh, quit that. Bam. Awesome. Okay, at least I got something worth it from them. Uh, right, okay. Uh, no idea about getting those things done for the mob, though. So she said to Grey County, maybe it will, will be here, the stuff I can do. Chapter 5, Heartland of Darkness. Oh, damn. This place is very, um... Industrial. Hmm. Also, that's a big, uh, old-fashioned looking limo. Gab with Gabby. Uh, true to fat. I, uh, I can't think of anything else to say about this dismal place. Get a bit grease. Let us go soon. Uh, this old man is fiddling intently with some kind of clockwork thingamajig. Talk to him. Excuse me. Hmm? He looks up at you from the screen of someone who isn't used to focusing on anything other, anything more than six inches away. Can I ask you something? I don't get a lot of conversation practice, young man, but last I knew it was standard to lead off with an introduction. Oh, sorry. My name is Doom. Wendelin Luguti. What's your question? Uh, let me think. <laughs> he continues with his device. What are you working on? Oh, just a little thing I've been keeping myself busy with. What does it do? Nothing, on account of it being broken. Typically, that's what makes such a thing interesting. But I need a replacement part, and there ain't much getting around to that. What kind of part? Mainspring. Not usually a problem, but I need a counterclockwise one. Kind of rare. Why not just flip the regular one upside down? Well now, ain't you clever? See that flangey there? Um, yeah, that's why. Maybe I can find you one. Well now, I ain't expecting much, but if you managed that, I but if you managed that, I would appreciate it. Is there a, a clock parts store nearby? I used to buy parts off a doll maker named Gilmore, but that 
rat Hellstrom bought out his mortgage and foreclosed on him, ran the fella out off without even a buy or leave. At least I assume that that's what happened. No idea where he went. House is still there, but it's real spooky now. Spooky? What happened? Well, nothing really. Just when there was a fella there acting like talking dolls are normal, they seem normal. When he ain't there though, they don't. <laughs> anyway, it's down the road a spell if you feel like having a look-see. Remember, what I need is a counterclockwise mainspring. Cool. Ask about Hellstrom. Who's that Hellstrom guy you mentioned? Uh, that fat cat oil baron what's been going round buying up every patch of dirt big enough to drill a well into. I ain't want to talk about him. He'll get his soon enough. What does that mean? That mean nothing. Just an old man talking old man crap. Huh. Yeah, Hellstrom I think was one of the guys we saw in the dream sequence. Uh, old watering trough, yep, yeah, it's fish. You didn't catch anything, but Mosquito Buddy learned some tricks from the locals. The Mosquito Buddy has Mosquito gains plus five to damage and healing. Damn. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's talk to these people first. Talk to her. Uh, long lashed eyes sparkle at you, pine her spectacles. Her voice is a purr. Hey there, sweet thing. I'm Yola. Yola Kimundi. Nice to meet you. I'm Doomlight. Care to do a lady a little favour, Doom? Uh, what kind of favour are you looking for? I'm desperately thirsty, but I need something specific. A glass of milk. Milk. A charming young man named Milkman Stan he used to deliver the best milk in the county, but he's vanished mysteriously. The last anyone saw him, he was making a delivery to the Drexel place. Could you find him for me, pretty please? Her eyelashes flutter as he makes puppy dog eyes at you. Sure, happy to help. I know I could count on you. Here, let me give you directions. Bring me back a glass of milk once you find him. Okay, sweetheart? Cool. Uh, what about her? She looks up at you and down... She looks up you... Ugh, she looks you up and down with narrowed eyes. Then gives you a slight nod. Apparently deciding you aren't a threat to be immediately pummeled into the ground. Uh, hi, I'm Doom. Senia Wakefield. Nice to meet you, Senia. You look reasonably capable. Go, time to run a quick errand. What kind of errand are we talking? A farmer named Macmillan Cuddy borrowed something from me and I'm gonna need it soon, that's all. Go get, come back, could be simpler. My experience is that nothing is ever that simple. Ha, ain't that the truth. I don't expect any trouble though. I'll do it. Good, here's the directions to the place. Just tell him Xenia needs her paperweight back. Okay, I'm on it. Man, three side quests arranged from entering this place. Uh, door is barred from the inside. You have to look elsewhere for your for your attack. Okay. <laughs> uh, toolbox. Rivets. And all that. Yeah. Oh, I see some code. Ah, uh, damn it. Not enough. Right, okay. Ah, this place is crossed off. I'm guessing these are like places that maybe the um, Elstrom's like bought out, maybe. Bud's Burger Barn. Visit our zero grey county locations. Oh. Right, okay, they're, uh, they got under then. <laughs> cool. Proud to serve red cola. Uh, right, okay. What was the actual place we need to go? Get inside the feed store in grey county and find Jasper. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I'm guessing maybe if I help these people, they'll let me in, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's do some stuff here then. Uh, I don't remember what any of these people want, so let's just head to this one. Oh, oh, Gabby heard about a place to see. A witching well. Do you mean a wishing well? No, different. A Gabby friend dropped her handbag into that, and it returned back containing fire and screams. What? Yeah, <laughs> location unlocked. The, the hellhole. Uh, sure, let's go there now. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, it is hot here. Uh, smoke pours out of this nest of very hot ants. Click some resin. Cool. Uh, head off and... oh no. Of 
Caution, do not throw anything that starts with H down this well. Uh, you're not going to let that sign tell you what to do. Nope. Uh, fish first. Glob of molten metal. Oh, enemy on da um, five or five down. Uh, ooh. Uh, it's going to be something that I know isn't going to be like useful, like the hard candy. Uh, you put the candy in the bucket and send it down. When it comes back, it has been transmogrified, mostly for inflation, into a cake. Devil's food cake. Increases all my stats. Hmm. Interesting. About the heavy boots. You load the heavy boots into a well. Nothing happens for a few minutes, so you pull the bucket back up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what about the haunted duck call? I got a cursed haunted duck call. You put the duck call in the bucket and lower it into the well. When you pull it back up, it's somehow even worse than it was before. So now it deals spooky damage and causes bleeding, both equal to your muscle. Ooh. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, let's throw a handful of clean water in. Hmm, not interested, okay. How to curse like a sailor. You load the reference card into the well. When you pull it up back up, it has been transformed into a smoldering book. I got the... Oh god, long named thing. Offhand item. A book of secrets penned by those souls unfortunate enough to have sailed to hell and back. Do your moxie and sleaze damage to all opponents and set someone on fire for free once per fight. Ooh. That's pretty useful. All opponents, though. Got to, got to pay attention because last time I thought I had like a thing that damaged all enemies, it damaged everyone. That's good. Okay. I'll keep going then. This is handing me really useful stuff. What about holy water? No. Okay. Uh, what about gasoline? Uh, put the gasoline in the bucket and lower it to the well. Hear a bubbling noise, and when you pull the bucket back up, it contains a bottle of glowing red liquid. Combat item deals five hot damage to all enemies, sets them on fire for five down. Gets really good stuff from this. Hmm, I don't have other rods. I'm pretty sure. Let's throw a hot rod in. Oh no, they weren't interested. Okay. Uh, least favorite poems. You lowered a terrible book into the well. It comes back in a more scorched but also more interesting form. So if I've been getting all these just random useless items, like the poetry book that I couldn't read or anything, just to head to this well and get them upgraded. Or like I'm assuming upgraded. Uh, a book of poems written by the romance poets after they were justifiably and appropriately consigned to the eternal flames of hell. Grants an upgradable skill. Coldridge's armor gives cold armor. Damn. I've got so much stuff to look through once I uh, finish this. Uh, potion. Increase your max HP by 7 and your hot armor by 3. Damn. Uh, hex rock powder. Man enriched flower. I don't even know about that. Uh, hex watch badge. Man enriched flower. Interesting. Hex rock helmet. Man of Rich Flower. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing a theme here. Uh, handful of Dirty Water. Nope, not interested. The Choker. Flame of Fist Choker. Interesting. A uh, Handsaw. Molten Handsaw. Damn. Shapes melee weapon. Uh, handful of Steam. No, I'm interested. Okay, that's all the stuff. Man, I've got a lot to look through. Thankfully, they're all at the top here. So... Uh, that was the damage one. Yep, yeah, okay. So... I think I want... Yeah, I think I want this. This would set them on fire for four as well if I do this. Because I've got my ring equipped. So let's equip that. Because I think the uh, pocket watch at this point is kind of... In theory, it's good, but dead a bit too strong for it to really be like that useful now. Uh, that's a combat item. Uh, this book is 
fanciful travelage of poet Samuel Taylor Coldridge's posthumous odyssey through the fiery wastes of hell, in the process of which he develops a skill Coldridge's armor. Mm, pardon. Coldridge's armor, huh? You might be able to pick up a thing or two about that. You mean Coldridge? No, anyway, if you don't want Coldridge's armor, it's only protection against other Coldridge's. Cool, start reading. Plus one cold armor. Uh, keep reading? Oh man, I can keep reading this. Damn, okay. Not right now. Uh, boiled blood, potion. What was my potion? Gives me all my armor. I think having more health is probably better than that. Let's drink that. There you go. Uh, man rich flower. Yep. Uh, accessory. Yeah, we got a better one. Uh, oh god, everything. And uh, we didn't need that. Cool. Okay. Got to try out that book then. That's good. Right, that was a nice little detour. Thanks for that, Gabby. Uh, I am curious actually. Oh, let me do this real quick. Yep. Let me quickly head to. Uh, Crystal Dream Lake. Just in case Gabby has anything to do with her uh, siblings again. Probably not, but we'll have a look. Uh, Doom, look what Gabby has found. Turn around to see Gabby, who apparently wandered off into the woods where you weren't looking, turning with a handful of meat. Wow, what? It's meat, found by Gabby. I can see that, but here, you can take it. Gabby's purse is too filled with candy. <laughs> should, should I ask where you found this? Nope. Cool, I don't think we'll uh, get anything else from the uh, Gabby Spore. Uh, spawn, I mean. Uh, let's head back to the county. And... Uh, oh, we did the, the hell hole. Okay, go my house. Uh, the house on the corner has abandoned its front garden to a squalor. It's the disgraceful vision. Flowers give up and die. Tomatoes roll down the road to traffic. Carrots grow in reverse until they pop out of existence. You must do something. Tend to the garden. Uh, you spend a hot afternoon fixing the garden until the owner comes home and chases you down the street with a saucepan. As you look back from far down the road, the carrots now grow as tall as the house. Cool. Oh god, this place. Nature's bounty has been violently extracted by this monstrous machine. Uh, mailbox is labelled RP Gilmore. Junk mail. Uh, there's a page of what appears to be a diary tacked to this tree. Dorothy keeps giving me socks with holes in them. She can't possibly be trying to merely make me deliberately, but it's far too consistent to be random chance. Huh. An old plowshare is leaning against the tree. Cool. Uh, the door says Bill Grundy Bomb Proof Shelter Co. And it has a serious combination lock on it. No bomb's gonna guess this one. Oh, damn, okay. Cool. Go inside. Uh. The eerie silence is really eerie. <laughs> Uh, there's a loose page from a diary on the table. Edith's violin is too loud for me to relax at night, but if I take it away, she screeches horribly. I wonder if I can find her a smaller one. Huh. A doll sized barbell, work out. Oh, that sound. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, God, I think I heard it when it was silent. There's a book of children's horror stories on this childless man's table. Maybe it's for the dolls, or maybe it's for you. Got scary stories for spooky children. Oh, and it gives me spooky armor. I'm getting all the books and stuff. Jeez. Damn, okay. I mean, good, it's making me more resistant with my little health that I've got. But damn, it's costing a lot of experience. Doll parts. Which is a bunch of creepy glass eyes. What is this guy's deal? Why make creepy dolls deliberately? Uh, little mouths. 
Page of someone's diary, uh, must correct Velma's mechanism so she'll squeeze the toothpaste from the end of the tube instead of the middle. I'm losing a fortune in wasted paste. Huh. This tiny radio produces a tiny sound. Right, okay, let's work from this way. Oh, well, there's the violin. Uh, box of toys. Doll sized chemistry set. Okay. Uh, counterclockwise mainspring. There you go, that's what we needed. Oh, the violin sounds horrible. Ugh. Her uh, something's defective with Ruth. She's doing twice as much of everything she as she ought to be. I must have gotten her gear ratios wrong. Ugh. Man. As soon as you get close to her, God. Okay. Addresser, addresser. Hello, addresser. Uh, a leaf from a diary is nestled. Yep. I'm stuck in a rut. Every day is the same routine. Eat breakfast, get dressed, brush my teeth, exercise, work on my novel, go to bed, over and over. Always the same. I thought the dolls would help, but they've only made things worse. I feel like I might go crazy. In fact, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I think I'll start right now. Huh. Uh, okay. Uh, if you're quick, you can probably grab those socks without getting eaten by that creepy doll. Sure. Ugh, God. <laughs> uh, ugh, twitchy. Uh, doll Ow! <laughs> doll legs, just left ones. They must not be for dan dancing dolls. Box of wafered corn cereal. Increases your maximum HP by 9 and maximum AP by 1. Damn. What is my food item? Oh yes, yeah, this one. Um, I might keep that to be honest, because I needed nine Mr. Cali for that other thing just then. So, uh, fruity ice pop. I don't feel well. I think Gladys put something in my coffee. Not just eggs, like she always does, accidentally. I believe this was purposeful. Perhaps I shouldn't have based her mechanisms on that strange old doll I found. Grace, I wonder where she went. Uh, warm my hands. Warm hands, nice. Uh, there's one drawer you can reach without getting too close to that doll. Battery in a paper clip. Ah. Hmm. So what do I do about you <laughs> weird uh, weirdo dolls then? Anything? Oh, yeah, there's one more door. Hang on. Uh, one of those newfangled plastic handled toilet brushes you've read about in all the papers. Tool, cool, <laughs> melee weapon. Uh, regular human sized toilet, flush it. Nice. Page from a diary is stapled on the wall, read it. Uh, Abigail loosened the pins on my barbell. I nearly dropped it on my head. She's definitely trying to kill me. I think they all are. Hellstrom can have the house and main property. I'm going into hiding. First, I'm going to tack these pages all over the house to make it clear that I'm insane. And then I'm going to go live in my bomb shelter. Scratch that. It's a doll shelter now. Huh. Uh, the sink is currently occupied by a creepy talking doll exposing the value of good hygiene. Uh, no, okay. Uh, show off fish in the, the bathtub. Hand for dirty water. Continue fishing. Uh, Soggy bandage. Also, I'm just noticing all these dolls are talking about. Um, they all talk about like numbers. Yep. So nine nine. Eight, 
Uh, nine, eight, eight, uh, two, uh, four, three. Okay, not in that order, but. Uh, no idea what the order would be in though. These are the numbers. Uh, is there any other clues in there that I can use? Maybe it's just in like actual order, maybe, like number order. Uh, so, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Hmm. Weird, what is the clue that I'm missing? So maybe something to do with their stuttering, maybe? No, they will stutter like four times. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think they all. Right, okay, so hang on. I think I get it. So, eight hours sleep a night, so that would be the last thing then. Yeah, end each day with eight. Okay. Let me do this one at a time. It's going to be a lot of back and forth, but it's going to be the easiest way for you to remember. So, at the end of the day, it's eight. And the most obvious other one, I guess, would be the one who makes the breakfast. So, four was the breakfast one. I like these kind of puzzles, where you have to like use your brain with the clues that are just like in the environment. Right, who'd be next? I guess maybe... Hmm... Who would brushing the teeth be first? Sure, let me. Oh, it's already at three. So then, two socks. See, some of these are weird, though. Like, what are the order of these ones? Uh, and also, are they putting their socks on before or after they go to get their teeth done? That's the thing. So... I mean, I guess I could guess these last ones. Yeah, these are probably the other way around. Really? It's not this? Or maybe they're brushing their teeth first before breakfast. Which means that they would be like the other way around.
I don't know man, I don't know this guy's order of his routine. Eight's always eight's definitely gotta be the last one. If we're assuming you're putting your socks on as you wake up, that'd be two. I I wanna solve this puzzle. Which means you'd then be Oh no, so two here. Then Free to brush your teeth, maybe. Or eggs. And then these two are like interchangeable, I guess. Nope, okay, not that. Uh, I feel like I have all the information I need, I just don't know the exact order that they want me to pull it in. I might have to leave this for now. I spent way too long on this, I think. I'll come back to this maybe later. Uh, right. Uh, collect some stuff. Cool. Uh, you wanted this spring. I uh, did. Well, I'll be. Thank you kindly. Seeing as you're proving yourself to be a helpful sort, I'll have them let you in the store. Pretty much all of us around here got a thing or two could have used doing as well. If that was sarcasm, I hear you. He gets up and knocks an old pattern on the door to the feed store, and you hear someone inside removing the bar. Thanks. Uh, we see you. Damn, are all these people going to have side quests as well? Uh, can I just... Sign says back in an hour. Somebody has called it, yeah right, in the thick layer of dust on the counter. Interesting. Okay, well, I might end this episode here and uh, see what these people want because then there's a lot of dialogue in this first area of this place. Damn, so much reading. And that puzzle. <sighs> that puzzle with the dolls. I feel like I have all the information that I need, but I just can't. Like, I don't, I don't know, because like, not everyone's wake up patterns are the same, you know? Some people would get their, dressed up ready first before doing things like their teeth. Some people eat breakfast first, then their teeth, you know, all that kind of stuff, so I don't know. Also, what are you doing, Gabby? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, by liking a comment, if you're anyone, slap the subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.